let's solve this equation. 5 times t minus 1 plus 6 equals negative 9. So when we're solving equations, we want to simplify both sides and um, first, right? Uh, but just to remember that what we want to find is a number that we plug in for t that will make this equation true. So at the end, we're going to check, and it should be 5 times t minus 1 plus 6 equals 9. So whatever number we plug in for t here should make this side equal 9. Or sorry, negative 9, isn't it? Negative 9, right? Okay, so we'll check at the end. I'll solve it now. So we're going to simplify both sides. So to simplify the left, let's multiply by 5. 5t minus 5. So we're doing the distributive property with 5. Plus 6 equals negative 9. What can we do next? So we did our distributive property. Now we can do what? You could add like terms. You've got a number and a number. We can't add the t term to anything because it's it's not a, a number. It's 5t, like 5 turnips or 5, you know, something. T could be like, I don't know. We don't know what t is. So, But, but we can add negative 5 and 6 together to get a positive 1. So we have 5t plus 1 equals negative 9. And now we need to solve for t. We can subtract 1 from both sides, and that will give us 5t equals negative 9 minus 1. You're in debt by $9. You spend $1. Now you're in debt by $10, right? So 5 times t equals negative 10. To undo multiplying by 5, we need to divide by 5. If you divide the left by 5, you must divide the right by 5. Okay, so I just want you to notice that first of all, we simplify both sides, and then we solve. And in the solving, that's when we have our, we think about our equation like a weighing scales. And whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So we subtracted one from both sides. And then we divided both sides by 5. And we get t equals negative 2. All right? So that's the answer. And I'm going to check it just for fun. So from the outset at the beginning, we said that if we plug a certain number in here, it should make both sides the same. We found t equals negative 2. So plug negative 2 in for t. And on the left, we have 5 times negative 2 minus 1 is what? I'm in debt by $2. I subtract $1. Now I'm in debt by $3, right? 5 times negative 3 plus 6. 5 negative 3s. 5 times negative 3, bad guys. That's, a, 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 you know, a, if you take a bill, a debt of three dollars and multiply it by five, it becomes a debt of fifteen dollars, right? Or five times three bad guys makes fifteen bad guys. So negative fifteen plus nine is what? Or plus six? Sorry, negative fifteen plus six. Fifteen bad guys plus six good guys is nine bad guys. Nine negatives. So we have negative nine equals negative nine. So we end up with the same thing on both sides of the equation. So we have solved the equation t equals negative 2 is correct, right?